Okay. What are two and three force members? You should be alert to two frequently occurring equilibrium situations. They're called two force members and three force members. What is a two force member? You won't believe it, but it's a member that only has two forces acting on it. And it is in equilibrium. Okay? So a, any member, doesn't matter what shape it is, it could look like this, like that, it could look like this, right? And if you, if it has, if it's in equilibrium and it has two forces acting on it, then these forces are equal, opposite, and collinear. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. If a force, if a, if a, if a body is in equilibrium and has two forces acting on it, then those forces have to be equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, and collinear, meaning they're along the same line of action. Does that make sense? Because they simply cancel. It's not the same as saying, well, I can't have equilibrium if that force P is there, right? They're equal. That's a P, by the way. They're equal, they're opposite, but they're not collinear. So in this case, you'll have a, a couple, a couple moment. Okay, so if a two force member, if a force has, if a body has two forces and it's in equilibrium, this, this is the criteria. The second is a three force member. A three force member is a, is a member that has three forces and is in equilibrium. So what does that mean? That means that these three forces have to be concurrent. They have to pass through the same point and they essentially then cancel each other out like this. We've got F1, F2, F3, the resultant sum of the forces equals zero. And as you can see, because they pass through the same point, what does this mean? Let me get this means some of the force in the x equals zero, some of the forces in the y equals zero. But because they pass through the same point, some of the moments is zero as well. Now let me just scroll up. Bear with me. I'm going to show you an example. Here, here is an example of a two force and a three force member. Right? So the first thing you need to see, okay, it's an equilibrium. Right, this guy's not accelerating. These members are not accelerating. Step one, equilibrium. Step two, as you can see here, there's a force being applied on onto this uh, uh, body over here, and there's a force being applied here. Yes, I know we break it up into x and y, but it's it's just a single force, right? It's a single force which we break up into x and y. So, if we draw that force there like that sorry, that body there, then it's got two forces acting on it, and it is in equilibrium. So, um, most likely, these forces will point in those directions. So, you've got B, and you've got A. And they're, they're equal and opposite, and they are collinear. Okay? And then this is a three-force member. This, this other one. There's a force there, a force there, and a force there. If it's in equilibrium... Then, this three, then these three forces be a bit more difficult to draw. So you've got a force there. You're going to have a force equal and opposite to that one. Okay. And you're going to have another force. So, so these forces need to somehow... You're going to have another force there. Okay. And so these three forces need to satisfy this equation as well. Okay, so here is an example of a three-force and a two-force member.